In his explanation shortly before presenting the check of $14 million to the Nigerian government, the chairman of the Nigeria National Polio Plus Committee, Joshua Hassan, says the grant, which is donated through the World Health Organization, is meant for surveillance and also to provide technical assistance for the Federal Ministry of Health in polio eradication. If we want to track this uh, vaccine-derived uh, baby given that problem, we need good surveillance. We made another grant for technical assistance. Between July and two weeks ago, Rotary has granted WHO over 14 million US dollars. Now, the first one came in July, where they were given to... For their part, the Coordinating Minister of Health and Social Welfare, Professor Alepati, and the WHO country representative, Dr. Walter Molumbo, commend Rotary International for its role in interrupting wide polio transmission in Nigeria and indeed the world. They are sure that the resources provided will be used judiciously. I uh, commend you uh, for this gesture. It is not the first, not the second, but just one more that you have uh, conducted. Uh, the polio success story is a success story times of uh, all kinds of challenges. At least we have one thing among the few others that we can say. Collectively, we have done as a country uh, with a view to save lives, uh, to reduce uh, physical and financial pain, uh, to produce health, and to do that for all Nigerians. Uh, they will use these resources prudently. They will do, use it efficiently uh, so that we make the best use of resources. Eradicating all forms of polio virus um, uh, from Nigeria and for the world is really, is really key. And this is why I'd like to take this opportunity to thank uh, heartedly uh, Rotary International for this grant that have undertaken uh, to amount to us of 14, over 14 million uh, US dollars. Uh, I commit the organization to use, to put that money to good use and to manage it with transparency and the accountability in the spirit of the health sector renewal investment initiative and the compact. Joseph Cadre, ITV News.